The Minister for Works and Housing, Francis Asensubuache, says it will cost the government over $5 billion to solve Ghana's perennial flooding situation. Answering questions at a mid the press session in Accra, the Sector Minister for Works and Housing, who doubles as the Member of Parliament for Bantama constituency, noted that government has constructed 35 kilometers of drains, while 1,000 kilometers are at various stages of completion. According to him, the flood-prone areas within the capital Accra would have posed greater danger if not for the timely intervention by the government to invest about 450 million Ghana cities on drainage systems in the past two years. He urged the MMDCs to endeavor to demolish all structures on waterways as directed by the president. Some studies have been done, had been done and they had indicated that to address the flooding issues in the country, the, the country will need about $5 billion. $5 billion to be able to address the, 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 the flooding challenges across the country. The district assemblies have the power, they have the laws behind them. So much, much as I agree with you that they will have challenges, the country, the, we the citizens will have to support them so that uh, they, can, they can be successful. Yes, the president has made that dire directives and uh, a task force has been set up at the office of the president. On the issue of coastal development, he added that the finance minister is yet to release the 10 million Ghana cities allocation for feasibility and engineering studies in the coastal constituencies in the Volta region, following tidal wave devastation to some 3,000 people seven months ago. The finance minister, in a media address on December 6, 2021, indicated that an amount of 10 million Ghana cities will be released to undertake visibility and engineering studies in the Keta, Ketu, and Anglo constituencies. This he described as a necessary budgetary allocation to find lasting solution to devastation caused by perennial tidal waves. There was a question on the 10 million. Uh, yes, what, what uh, the finance minister said was that it, it would be very important for us to do a feasibility study along the Blekusu stretch of the coastal line uh, to, to really understand the problem. And he voted uh, 10 million Ghana cities for that research, uh, feasibility studies. We are currently uh, working with them for the release of that funds to do the, to do the feasibility study. On government's ambitious plan to reduce the country's housing deficit, the Minister for Works and Housing indicated that the Saglemi housing project will soon see the light of day as all efforts are being made by the government to complete the project and make it habitable for public sector workers. Work on the affordable housing site in Kofodia by the state housing company has resumed and it is expected that work will soon be commenced on the Tamale and Wa sites. Let me use this opportunity to affirm government's commitment toward the completion of the Saglemi affordable housing project. Government is currently reviewing various options towards the completion of the project and will not renege on its duty to ensure that Ghanaians obtain value for money in the application of the taxpayers' money. He further indicated that a rent bill has been submitted to Cabinet for approval to afford his ministry the opportunity to streamline the renting laws in the country to create a win-win situation for both tenants and landlords. The rent control law, 1986, PNDC law 138. The review seeks to remove inherent constraints and offer incentives which will stimulate private sector investment in the rental housing sector. Maintain the protection it offers low income and vulnerable tenants from abuse and arbitrary actions and also bring the act into conformity with the national housing policy. The ministry, in collaboration with the Office of the Attorney General, the Ministry of Justice, has drafted the Rent Bill 2022. An active stakeholder engagement has commenced to this effect. Landlords are saying that you have to bring uh, two years advance, three years advance, depending on the, each particular situation. And already I have mentioned that we are working on the Rent Act to, to review it so that it can stand the test of time. 
uh, uh, address the inherent ch challenges we are facing now. But this proposal seeks to help uh, new graduates who want to rent uh, uh, ac ac uh, homes, ac accommodation. Not only new graduates, any, any, any young person who has a, a job and who is on payroll, the government will facilitate and provide the, the rent, uh, so the two years advance, one year advance, so that he will use his monthly uh, salary to pay off the, the, the loan, basically. And uh, as we speak, we have worked out the modalities and uh, we've sent it to cabinet for consideration and approval.